Hey, hello my good friends wherever you are. Let us believe and pray. Therefore, I want to share the word of God shortly with you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for this moment and I'm going to share the word with your people. Lord, use me as a vessel towards your people in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Amen. Amen. My good friend, wherever you are, let us turn to our Bibles. You can open with me the book of Exodus, chapter number 23. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says in the book of uh, Pro, uh, Exodus chapter number 23, verses five, 25, it says this way, Worship the Lord your God, and his blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you. Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Worship the Lord. How many of you worship the Lord in truth? And uh, that is what we need to do as Christian. You know, when you worship the Lord and you dedicate yourself unto the Lord, it means that whatever you eat, whatever you touch is blessed of God. Praise the name of Jesus. Because one of the things when you when you worship God, it means that you are you have already attached yourself to the kingdom of heaven and that is God himself. Therefore, my friend, I want to encourage you wherever you are, in that office, in that house, in that um, uh, business premises, in that in that car you are driving, wherever you are going, I want to encourage you and tell you this. Attach yourself to the kingdom of God. When you attach yourself to the kingdom of God, by doing what? Worshipping the Lord, by knowing his word by walking according to his word when you walk according to the word of god therefore it means that god is with you the bible says very clear in that in that scripture there's something i love there it says be on your food god and his blessings will be on your food and water i will take away sickness from among you by to him to do to that to him to do that to you you have to commit yourself unto him and believe in god and worship him in truth it says worship the lord your god nobody can be worshiped apart from god you need to worship god alone many people worship their their bosses some people worship some people some people worship a friend so that they get something to eat so that they get something to, 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 to keep on keep keep them moving. Let me tell you, if you worship the Lord, nothing will come against you. If you worship the King, the Almighty God, nothing will be against you. But today I tell you, and I come to you and, and assure you that God will bless your food, God will bless your water, God will bless everything you touch when you worship him father in the mighty name of jesus i thank you for the word of today lord may you bless your people in the mighty name of jesus i pray and believe amen amen you are there you're not born again i want you to repeat this word after me father i come before you i am a sinner i've sinned against you lord forgive me write my name in the book of life remove my name in the book of darkness starting from today i want to worship you i want to follow you thank you lord for your salvation in jesus mighty name amen father thank you for that person who have repented lord i thank you for their life lord as they walk with you lord sustain them give them strength to, to keep on moving in jesus mighty name i pray amen amen my friend wherever you are let god be your number one according to the book of Exodus chapter number 23 verses 25 it says very very clear worship your God and he will bless your food your water so it means that everything you take when you worship God it is blessed therefore my friend keep on moving with Christ and God will be with you shalom shalom peace be with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.